All right, let's be on it for one second. How good are our headphones, really? Because most of our laptop, desktop, and even our mobile phones are not giving us anywhere near the sound quality those headphones are capable of. And today I want to find out if, well, this little tiny box can actually fix that. Let's get into it. So I've been using the Ivy Sen DAC V3 for the last week. Um, I'm here to tell you exactly what it does, who is it for, and why you might or you might not need one, and whether you're ready to drop the £229 that this little box costs you. Now, before I go any further, what is a DAC? So, a DAC is done for digital to analog converter. So, think it as a modern day external sound card. So, it takes the digital sounds all those ones and zeros from your device and they convert it into analog sounds that your headphones or your speakers actually use and while every phone laptop or pc out there already has one DAC already building most of them and let's be real they're pretty basic they, they serve the purpose but they're not super great so if you're investing 50 pounds or 100 or 200 pounds in headphones you're probably not hearing. You think you are, but you're probably not hearing the whole wider extent, the, the, the clearness, the richer sound, the dynamic sound. You don't have to be some audio obsessed chasing the perfect sound. This is about getting the best out of the gear we already own. So whether we got 150 pound headphones, studios or 60 pounds or even 30 pound earbuds, this is gonna help. So when you open the box, it's pretty straightforward. You got the Sendak V3 itself, a solid all metal unit that feels super premium. There are USB type C cable to connect it to your computer and a 6.3 millimeter headphone adapter. So you can use it with your regular 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So no software, no drivers, simple plug, and it's ready to go. It, it gives you that perfect sound out of the bat. On the front of the device, we do have a lovely smoother than and kind of weighted volume knob, which for me is a total game changer when switching between music, calls, and games. Um, you do get two headphones outputs, a standard 6.3 millimeter and a 4.4 millimeters balance output. And if we go to the back, we do have another balance input. We've got a variable and a fixed switch over here, a RCA right and left, inputs as well, a digital input, so that's your USB Type-C, and um, because you can be using this with a analog or a, a different type of input, being the RCA over here, you also got a five volt DC that's not included in the box. You can buy it separately, or if you've got a five volt power supply, you can go around, but if you're plugging it, like myself, USB Type-C, digital input, this will transmit audio and power at the same time. But the real standout features for me is these two little buttons at the front. So we got power match and X base plus. So power match is essentially a gain switch. So if you've got a high impediment headphone that need more juice, well, you press that and it's like, it's like boost, it's like nitro. It, it boosts the output power. Even with my mid-range headphones, they, they turn it like they're someone fully alive. They, they fully, they give it that boom straight out of the box. And then we got the X base. And honestly, this one is like a cheat code. It gives you low end frequency, a subtle, tasteful boost, not super moody, not overpowering the base, like most bass boost setting is it's okay. And this had just enough warmth to make but explosion in game a little bit harder, bass lines in music a little bit more pressing, and dialogues in film sound a little bit more, more clear and more violent. So I leave it on for most of my testing and it's good. Um, the boycos. The boycos sound super, super clear. It, you can tell it's a real difference. You really need to pay some attention, but you do feel grateful of what you get in. Instruments are more distinct and sound effects in games were so perfect, so well positioned, I found myself reacting that little bit faster. So 
generally improve overall my experience now. The price, the real elephant in the room. It's 229 pounds, so it's not exactly pocket money. And you, you may can get something like this for like 30 pounds that it does basically the kind of the same job. But here's the thing. If you're really spending money on a decent pair of headphones and plugging it directly into your PC headphone jack, it's like putting premium tires in a Dacia, in a, in a budget car. So this stack is that. It's instant noticeable upgrade that unlocks what those headphones and what the engineers behind the headphones that you own are expecting you to listen. And here's the bonus. It would probably outlive your two or three pair of headphones as well because it's metal build, super rugged, and it's no drivers or any type of upgrades that this need. It's literally just, just work. So the Hyphen DAC V3 is not trying to be everything to everyone. So if you're happy with your current setup, it's fine. But if you're spending hours a day or working, or you're working like making videos and you need that clear audio, or you have never tried a proper DAC as well, this thing will surprise you because it honestly did surprise me. I will leave the link in the video description down below if you want to check it out. And if you like honest, no nonsense tech reviews like this one, just hit that subscribe button for more, more videos like these. We got loads more on the pipeline. So drop a comment if you have ever used a oh, <laughs> very expensive DAC or a very cheap type of DAC like hey, Let me know what, what's your audio solution as well. But well, thanks for watching guys and Checotech, I will see you in the next one. Adios.